Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And you know where you're at, Dab Snell's Funny Square, where the family gets down. It's all a family affair over here. Okay, we're circling, we're riding through Atlanta, me and my daughter this afternoon. And, you know, we didn't really know what we wanted to eat or whatnot, so we were just riding. It was okay. Atlanta's supposed to be the Black Mecca. Uh, Atlanta's supposed to be the New Hollywood. So we're like, damn, why don't we go see what Nene Lounge and see what it's doing and see what we can see. So, you know, we just bounced around. We bounced around. We were on our prowl, 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 like a cat be prowling, y'all know what I'm saying? That's what we were doing. But, you know, you're going to always tell people to say, why are you, why are you always talking about celebrities? And, and why are you all just stay in your lane and live about your life? You must be miserable. Well... I could talk about celebrities. Why? Because a can can and a can can a can can a can can and a wheel. All right, it's gonna be a quick, fast, hurry video. Uh, like I said, me and my daughter went riding down uh, 285 this afternoon, and it was nothing but cars everywhere. Just a sea of cars. Okay. So we were there. We got into the parking lot where the little Nethia Lounge is. Now those little chairs that's sitting out front, all that and that uh them flowers and stuff, all that shit gone. But they did not have no um clothes for inspection or whatever you put when you were like you failed your health inspection or something. They didn't have nothing on the door. It was just totally blank. And um uh, my daughter actually went to the door and she looked in and she said it's just like a ghost town you know how you lock up for that night and then you come back in the next day however you left it that night that's how nene leaks left her uh lounge bar and lounge like i said it didn't have the the pottery plants out there uh it didn't have any of those seats or whatever those metal things were in the picture that i saw you that i showed you Honey, but the pistol resistance was. Later on, we kept thinking about that thing. Like, why then? Why? If she's not. If it's no sign on the door that's saying it's closed for whatever reason. I don't know when any got the it's closed thing. Or it's temporarily closed on her website. Because it's nothing on the door depicting that, you know, they are open or not open. Uh, but we got to think about that again, thing again this after, this evening. And don't you know we call it Little Nethia Lounge and the phone is disconnected. Yeah, I said it. The phone is disconnected. Now, just being, you know, devil's advocate, <laughs> you, you would want to think the worst, right? You would want to think the worst. Like, this, this woman really lost her business because why would she disconnect her main phone to her company shouldn't it have some type of recording on there uh just like she put out on her messenger that the you know the line was temporarily closed due to an emergency i'm like girl what was the emergency it couldn't have been no water uh restriction because the things that were around you next door to you is a farmer's market and the other one is la madeline it's some kind of italian restaurant then you right there in the middle. And they were open for business. So it wasn't no main break or no power surge that went out or any of those things. Honey bunny. So we were like, what the hell going on with Nene? Now, of course, if she didn't play the lease, her lease agreement, they would probably give her extra time. Me and my daughter were saying to get up that money and pay them. So they wouldn't do anything with your furniture you have inside or, you know, take your sign down. But it was just quite odd that you got your phone disconnected, girl. 
to your place of business now that don't look right that don't look right because if even if you're remodeling or revamping the inside your phone should still ring right am i right guys and i wonder did her staff have to sign like these nda clauses or, or contracts that they can't say anything or uh, negative or disparaging about the restaurant while they're working and even after they leave the company they cannot make any public statements about what they saw what they heard and what was the comments and goings in the restaurant i wonder did she make them sign it since she is somewhat of a celeb reality celebrity but yeah me and my daughter were like mm -mm, baby Something ain't in that milk. It ain't clean. You know what I'm saying? You keep watching it. That stain still be there when you bring it back out. I mean, what's going on? What's going on? Because uh, we were thinking about other bar lounges such as that. You know, you still will have your staff there to continue running your business because you got to keep the business open. So what plausible reason would it be for Nene to definitely, it's locked. And it, it'll have a, one of those, um, uh, you know those chain things on it like they had on, on swag boutique when that shit let down we didn't know swag was uh, gonna be closed down it's just the people went there and it was closed i wanted that they have that same effect with uh the lanethia uh staff trying to get in for their work days because the work day for her starts thursday friday saturday and sunday they, the uh the the, uh, the lounge is closed on monday tuesday wednesday but as we got to um uh, running around i think we went to tuck we was out in pleasant hill today and when we were coming oh, excuse me back home we just went over to tucker and uh got some chick-fil-a or whatnot and we saw this sign that said bar and lounge and it gave their hours and i'm like just play let's just play devil's advocate okay and uh yeah we called their number and they were in full effect Okay, give up, gave us the office uh, out. I'm not the office out, but the bar lounge. I was in everything. So I said, mm, they're the same thing like Lanethia is, but they're open. So, and the owners are not there. And most of the time when you own something, you make special appearances. Or if you got to really be there for something, you'll come. But other than that, you ain't never coming in that restaurant. At least not. You know while people are there so you don't have to be bothered with people if you don't want to be bothered but usually they hire a manager the staff to run the place and they just look at the revenue coming in because they you know generated a place for people to come in to be served and you have the staff and you have the management in case anything go down if you need to handle something you got the manager that's going to be calling you or be calling your assistant to get to you if you're that busy. You see what I'm saying? So it really doesn't make any sense. But what really made sense was when that number I called this for the Lanethia Lounge. Just to take, uh, you know, just to check hours of operation or just seeing if I could book a party or something to that thing. Honey, it's disconnected. It said no longer in service. I'm like, what? I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Child, that was a hot mess. But that's all I got. I want to give y'all a little update because I do live in Atlanta. And I know everybody. The comings and goings on pretty much where everybody lives, too. Because they put it out there. You just got to be in the right area to find it. You see what I'm saying? It ain't like Kenya House is it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's barred up. You know what I'm saying? She's on the main street. Sheree Whitfield house is on the main street. So, but, you know, we don't go be looking for stuff like that. I don't, I don't care about their personal business business. You know what I'm saying? But when it's a business establishment, when you're trying to bring customers in your thing, and you're just letting them hang, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, but, yeah, that's all I had to say, y'all. So, I hope Nene is okay. I hope she ain't, well, you know, like I said, she ain't buy that uh, complex because it's a lease type of agreement. It's not on your own land you see what i'm saying you in a parking uh what you call it, a shopping mall type of strip that that's in which i found that very weird too because if the restaurants and the like they have a plato's closet over there 
and like I said, they had the farmer's market there. If they're not charging their patrons to park in the parking lot, how is Nene legally getting um, that done where she's charging for parking? Because it's not her parking lot. You see what I'm saying? So that's some fishy, fishy stuff. I hope the IRS ain't out for her. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But that's all I got, guys. Like it, love it. Gotta have more. Let me know. Get in those comments. Okay? And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.